Journalist. I mean, it's very funny because I do look at other blogs and, and some of them focus on, on more about the reviews. Mm -hmm. um, my love is humor writing and my background is I actually started out in television. Oh. I handled PR for a lot of talk shows. You may have heard of the Ricky Lake show. I was there right when the show took off. Really, the first season I was there and, and with this great group That's of so people cool. um, who, who, you know, made her a superstar. And mm -hmm. from there, I... I actually went to CBS and I worked for CBS for 11 years where I handled PR for several um, shows. I handled publicity for, for several entertainment shows, everything mm -hmm. from CSI to Everybody Loves Raymond to The mm -hmm. Amazing Race. And I eventually was handling um, publicity for four divisions of the company and decided my job was getting too corporate. I, I, wanted, more, um, I want, wanted more creativity. And I wound up going off and starting, I wrote a book. It's called Peeing in Peace, Tales and Tips for Type A Moms. <laughs> and it's a funny book that I wrote with Yvette Corporon, who's a producer at Extra. And, mm. um, and as we were promoting the book, we also started doing events for working moms who were balancing um, work and family. And I wanted to really find out about how really successful women do it all. And, and finding out their stories and sharing it with um, with the public and from there we started to do it in person and I still do events mm -hmm. and I do the website and so we share stories of women all over the country. So you can do it all but not all at the same time and the important thing is to still do what you love even if it's a tiny piece even if you find two hours a week where you're still doing what makes you tick um, you can never lose that part of yourself because if you do, you're going to become miserable. And, and nobody likes seeing you know someone who's miserable. A happy mom is a better mom. Writing and singing in my family, of course. You know, my, my kids, it's amazing mm -hmm. to see now how they're coming into their own and, and seeing the things that really are, are their loving. But for me, when growing up, I always wanted to be on Broadway. I always wanted to sing. And, and so I still do that. And the writing for me has been a lot of fun because I love humor writing. I love reading great books with great humor writers. And then I sort of, you know, look into that and, and, and try to emulate those voices. And so I'm combining that. And even um, I performed at my, my synagogue where I like sang and I wrote six songs. I, you know, I did parodies of, of other songs. But Very that's cool. when I, I, I had been doing that all my life. And, and I say that actually my blog that's going to be about um, for the ELF website is called Forever 39 and that's um, I'm 39 right now I'm pushing 40 and and I realize now I mean there's no reason why I should be worried about rejection what the things that made me tick when I was 15 and 16 was it was my writing and my music and those are the same things that make me tick now and no I may not be on Broadway but I still can entertain crowds in New Rochelle. <laughs> well. I think you need to sit down and write a list. Write your list of things you want to accomplish. And don't do it all at the same time and just start going through and put it out there. I think the amazing thing is that when you put that kind of energy out into the world, it magically comes back to you. It really does. I mean, the, since I've left my corporate job, the amount of things that happened over the last couple of years have been amazing. And I think it's because I've put that energy out there that these are the things I love. And, and people are recognize it and want to help you succeed.